Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm going to review the Nerf Halo MA40 assault rifle. And I'm not, I didn't just buy this because it looks cool. I've actually played all the Halos, not, I have not played Halo Wars, but like, I play all the other like, in lore campaigns. And this is from Halo 6, which has not come out yet, which I'm extremely excited for. But I'm going to do a showcase on this. I'm going to show how it uses different batteries than you might think. In other reviewed videos of people reviewing this and like just kind of showcasing it and all of its properties that this weapon has, this thing does not actually like. So when you're installing the batteries, you may think you need these big chunky D batteries, but you actually need the smaller little C batteries. So that that actually messed me up. I thought I needed the D batteries, but I realized it was C. I mean, it said C, but it looked like D batteries, but. I'm going to show the magazines that this thing can hold. I'm going to show kind of like the model, why I like it. And I'm going to show like the end strike attachments and the rail riser piece, which is here. You can ra raise the rail right here with the ammo counter. But I'm going to do that first. So first thing we're going to start off with is like basically the mold of the weapon. Alrighty, the mold of the weapon is the first part. And it's right here. So I really like this weapon because it actually, it's like a decently big weapon. It's actually like really decently light too but it looks a lot like the actual assault rifle it looks like the ma-37 from halo reach because it just has like kind of like the lines and creases around here but it has got like this isn't a cosmetic piece like it detaches to the side it's not like it doesn't actually go back when you fire but it has like the butt stock and stuff which is really nice and then it like has the handle which is a thumb hole grip and that's kind of comfortable in my hands, which are decently small, so the thumb hole grip fits pretty nice. And it also really feels really nice. It kind of rubs a little around here, like this top little area. Kind of rubs a little here, but that's fine. I don't really care. It's still like my favorite Nerf gun now. And it's got a nice little grip here. It provides a decent amount of traction. It's got like a, um, I can't think what it's called. It's got this kind of grip, like the, I'm broken, segmented lines. And then it has, like, all these different safety things. That this flashlight right here on the bottom, it doesn't act, it's not an actual flashlight, it's just a, another cosmetic piece. And then it has an ammo counter here. Or not ammo counter, I can't think of the little safety fire mechanism. Which is also another cosmetic piece. It doesn't actually move when you try to push it or anything. But it still looks pretty cool. But then this back part here, this entire, like, buttstock area, can open up to remove a jam when the dart's firing. So that pretty useful. I've had to use it a few times. And then it's got the magazine here. This is possibly one of the first nerf guns to reload from the back. It's really cool. But it's a decently big weapon. It's got a long flash guard barrel. It cannot attach any sort of like modulus and strike barrels to it. It's just like the flash hider kind of. It does not have like a little like twisty barrel where you can push something on and twist it to the side and lock it in. But that is like the model I guess. You can take off the ammo counter to put something else. And the ammo counter itself is like a, it's got a tactical rail on the bottom, so you can attach it to any other weapons. Like, I'm going to do something right now. You can attach it to any other weapons, is what I'm saying. You, I meant any other weapon. So, I'm going to take my modulus here. Take the Halo ammo counter. This is kind of weird, because it reads 10. Like, 10 darts. You can't probably really see it. Alright. Maybe you can. Camera quality is a little crappy, but... It says 10, and this is a 6 star mag on the bottom, but... You can attach it to any sort of modulus or end strike weapon with a tactic oil, so that's nice, I guess. But now we're going to move on to like the battery installation, and then we're going to move on to the magazines, and we'll move on to the firing demo. Alrighty, so this is the installation of the batteries, this part. You need a can. I don't know what this kind of screwdriver head is called, but it's like the big kind. Okay, I'm going to try to get that in the focus of the camera. I'm sorry, it's really crappy. Well, but and it's got the three little screws here, and it's got a panel that opens up after you unscrew them all. And the screws are decently easy to come out with this screwdriver because they just lock in so perfectly. But, um, I don't know if you guys will want to see me just unscrewing this, so I'm going to pause the video and just be done with it until I unpause. Alright, you have got all the screws unscrewed, so now the panel opens up. And this is like the safety screws, so they cannot fall through. Like, if I take them, they're loose. They won't fall through the bottom, so those are really nice. I like those kind of screws. But now you're going to take your non-chunky batteries here. Not the big old fat boys that 
probably need to lay off the sugar. You're going to take your lighter ones. You're going to need four of them, and you're going to put them in like this. Uh, I don't know if I should really be doing this other than like showing you guys, because you probably know how to install batteries into a Nerf gun. I'm just showing this to, I guess, anyone else. It's kind of a little confused. But you make sure they're all like facing, because the springs are where the bottom of the battery is. But now you kind of take the panel. You put the little like flappies in the top, push it down. I'm going to pause the video again to screw this back up. Okay, I've got the battery screwed up, so now, um, this is weird. Oh, yeah, the reason it's not charging up is because I haven't shoved the magazine in there. This magazine, it's extremely cool. It's a 10 dart mag. It only holds 10 darts, as you can kind of see the little thing right there. Even though, like, the ginormous bulk on the bottom may look like it can hold a few more darts, it's just a purely cosmetic piece. It's just, like, there to make it look like the actual magazine of the assault rifle, and it does. So now you push it in. That's what I like to do. But we're going we're gonna to show now. I'm going to show the, like, magazines this can hold. It can hold a decent amount of them. You'll get to see which one it does not hold. You can take your guess here, I guess. I'm going to pause the video itself, so that'll be easy. Okay, now we're going to see which magazines this can use and which ones it cannot. We already know this one works. This is the one that comes with the weapon, so it obviously should work. I don't know why I have it there. But the 10-round banana mag being put into the bottom of the weapon. Kind of a little hard because my camera is blocking most of my peripheral vision. But it works. It clicks in. It looks decently cool, actually. It kind of has, like, the bend. Looks like some other weapons. But the little bulk on the bottom of the actual magazine makes it easier to pull out. Because, like, you can use your thumb to push down the magazine release, which is what these two little orange buttons are. And you can, like, have your other hand around and pull out the mag. And now we're going to take the 12-round... Um, two 12-round flip mags. They work, but, like, they, they're they odd, I guess, because, like, the flippy part. So it's a second magazine. It kind of, like, sits on top of the, like, guard area, I guess. Like, when I push it in, you see? The magazine's in. It's just oddly on top, so it probably could raise away some paint. It works, but it looks odd. Now we're going to move on to the 25-round dart drum. I don't have a 30-round dart don't have a 30 round dart drum so i cannot try to demonstrate that but this cannot go in because if you try to push it in the like i don't know circular area here will hit these bulks on the side and won't get this part up here around to here so this is the magazine that does not work and then there's the six dart mag which goes in but it's incredibly small and hard to reach so like why the heck would you try to use that it's actually really hard to get out so that is weird, but best one is your classic magazine, your good old um, 10 dart assault rifle mag. Now we can move on to the attachments, the hand strike attachments that this weapon has, and all of its properties of the attachments, and how they like kind of look, and how they are, I guess. So, I'm going to put my camera tripod, my phone tripod, camera tripod, going to put it up, ready? I'm just gonna put the gun up here like this, kind of so you can see it. Alrighty, that flipped over, but it's fine. Everything flips over every time these days. Okay, I'm gonna get out some sights. I'm gonna move the D battery. Alrighty, I'm gonna get some sights now. Just like some random Nerf ones I have, so we can test them out now. Alrighty, I got some sights now for this weapon to try out on it. So, they work pretty well, I guess. They're just a little weird sometimes. But there's one of them that does not actually need the rail riser. To like raise the sight up enough so it does not like just look into the back of the bulk of the weapon. But I'm gonna quickly put my tripod on the stool here. Or kind of aim it right over here for a second so I can grab this stuff. I don't know why I'm just not gonna. Okay, so the Nerf gun, the I can't see what it's called. The assault rifle seems to be a little bit more heavy when you actually install the batteries in, but it's fine. Alright, so now we have the assault rifle itself, which it kind of looked like what I did earlier. We're going to take the rail riser. I've already done the ammo counter on it, so I don't need to do that again. But you put the rail riser here. It clicks in, so it kind of raises the rail. So you can put sights on it, like this sight here. You can push it in, or it goes in the other way. It's weird, but whatever. It's like kind of odd trying to get it in from the other side, but... And then you have the sight on it. Yeah, it looks actually pretty cool. It looks like the long shot sight, or the long shot, or sentinel sight from Halo 5. Like the increased zoom, but it does look pretty cool. You can see through it, kind of. 
Um, trying to uh, there we go. But now we can try out the like little CQB or this the laser sight here, which you don't actually. It's pretty cool. You don't actually need the rail riser to put it in, and you can still see through the sight right here. But the right like it kind of is weirdly angled up as you can see. So like this little um little orange thingy does not get pushed into there all the way. Ow. Smash my finger into the back of it. Dang, that actually hurt already. Don't worry. My hamster bit this ring finger here. And that's the one I smashed. It doesn't really hurt anymore. But I'm gonna try to <laughs> put the CQB site here, like on top of the rail riser. And now it's just higher up. It makes it look different I guess but it looks fine you can still see through the site but now we're gonna try like the long scope the one that came with the long attachment for the nerf um modulus like that big site the sniper site whatever which is here on the rail riser it looks odd I guess but I don't know it can come in handy sometime it would come in handy probably it's like just an accurate site because it has the crosshair like specifically reticulized so you can like lock onto your target extremely precision but already the rail riser like the main reason the rail riser came was not really so you could put more sights but for some other reason so you can rise the ammo counter i don't know why you'd need to do that but it kind of looks like a sight from the side really a little bit but like not really it looks oddly weird i don't know if they actually have it rise in halo 6 but whatever but now i have one more sight it's a pretty bulky one it kind of tips to the side a little but it's the nerf end strike like um end strike it's called night tech um zoom sight it's actually really cool because it does have magnification i'll take it off turn it on put it to the camera and show you but like um it has a little dial inside here and it has a little thingy that says nerf night vision night finder tech you can't really see because the camera makes it look funky. Really funky. Oh, wait, this is aiming toward the cardboard box. You can see the inscription on the cardboard box, kind of. But it has a little thingy on the dial on the top right here. We can turn that to zoom it in like this. You can't really see it, but it's actually saying, yeah, you can see the little times five because I it can only zoom in to five all the time. But you can zoom it back. It's really cool, but then you push the dial one more tick forward turns it to night vision it's like people say that it's not real night vision but i've tried it in a really dark room with the white like the standard this part but then like it was just weirdly like kind of static lines but when i actually tried the night vision i could see all my surroundings so i'm not gonna say in the least that it's not real night vision i mean it's not like the super fancy military craft that is used but it still does like show you where your surroundings are so that's really cool but it works like a sentinel sight from the weapon for the weapon as the weapon. So that is actually, it looks extremely cool too. It does actually look really cool. It's just a little big and weighs nearly half a pound. So it's tipping to the side a little. But all right, now it's time to move on to the firing demo. Also the last part of the review. Alrighty, now I have the magazine with the 10 actual darts that the gun comes with. It comes with these olive drab colored white headed darts they don't have any sort of like accuracy they're just like standard painted end strike darts they don't have like the halo symbol or something on the side of it but it's still fine they're darts they look decently cool but i'm gonna take it load the magazine to the back of the gun and we're going to be off with the firing demo let me try to angle this a little weirdly something maybe okay i got an actual idea to make this look not first person, I guess, but like make it look cooler, I guess is the word. I can try to put my arm around my camera, which is decently hard because my arm is pretty small. But I can charge it up. Fire. You can slam fire it, or like not slamming fire it, but you can fire it decently quickly. It's got a pretty sensitive trigger. So you can fire it pretty much as fast as you can pull the trigger. It's actually really nice it's a lot like the modulus it is kind of hard to not jam it if you're firing it incredibly quickly like pew 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 but it still can fire pretty fast if you just time your shots at the right time you can spit darts out like it's a fully automatic nerf weapon but um i had a something i wanted to show you all but 
I kind of forgot. Whatever. Point is, this is a really cool Nerf gun. It, it's possibly one of the best $50 I've spent in it ever. $50 is most definitely worth it. I say in the least. It actually is incredibly cool. But that is it, I guess. So, happy Easter, everyone who is watching this video when it's posted today. <laughs> well, goodbye, I guess. I'll see you all next to my post. Oh, yeah, one more thing to say. You may check my channel banner, and it may say post every videos, post videos every Tuesday and Thursday, but screw that. I don't care about that anymore. I'll just post videos whenever the heck I feel like it. So, I'm just telling you that now, so if you've been confused by that, I'm not been posting videos on that. I don't know why I actually have that posted on my banner if I'm not doing it, but I'll fix it. Don't worry. Well, I guess that is the end of the review, but I hope you enjoyed this video, and it was pretty nice of a